what do jennifer aniston ben affleck megan fox ronald reagan dennis burkamp and even manoj bajpayee have in common except for being exceptionally famous well they were all afraid of flying at least once in their lives and you have to admit you'd know one person at least one person who's afraid of flying too but should we be scared statistics tell us otherwise the chance of a person being in an air crash is 1 in 4 million passengers and the chance of a fatality is 1 in 90.3 million well that's quite safe isn't it what makes flying around in an aircraft safer than driving in a car well apart from the highly efficient system on board an aircraft there are three groups of humans involved the first are the pilots and we all know what they do Then comes the role of an aircraft maintenance engineer who is responsible for issuing a fit to fly certificate that is required before every take off and then comes the role of an air traffic controller who makes sure that there is enough breathing space between two aircraft out of these three sets of humans i personally feel that nobody talks about the invisible heroes that are the aircraft maintenance engineers a pilot will not even think about taxiing an aircraft let alone flying it without a fit to fly certificate from an ame and 25 to 50 aircraft maintenance engineers work on different systems after a flight lands to make sure that those systems are ready for the next flight next take off so that the safety of the passengers and the crew is not compromised if we think about it an aircraft maintenance engineer is the only one authorized to touch an aircraft between flights My name is Gunj Thakkar and now that we know what these superhuman aircraft maintenance engineers do I am here to talk about how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer from the only school in India that is a Boeing 737 in the backyard Where am I? I am here at WIIA that is Western India Institute of Aeronautics at the Indus Institute of Aviation in the recently declared world heritage city that is Ahmedabad in India. I am here to take a look at their arsenal of aircrafts which includes the only Boeing 737 in a college in India. Apart from that there's a Learjet 24 aircraft, fighter jet, an actual landing gear from a Boeing 747 and a lot of other things that they have to offer wiia offers two courses for an ame the first one is a licensed ame course which is approved by dgca that comes under ministry of civil aviation and the second course gives you two things an ame license and a bsc honors degree the second course is ame with bsc honors and about both these courses we've spoken to the director of wiia namaste I'm Radhika Bhandari, Director of Western India Institute of Aeronautics from Ahmedabad. The students at WWI feel proud to be associated with an institute which has Boeing 737-200 aircraft on campus. Not only that, there are several other aircraft such as Learjet 24 and Zenith CH 2000. WWI is fully equipped with equipments and machinery such as engines, landing gear. a cycle system and many more other equipments for practical training so the students at wwi are always on the go during the course duration with such kind of state of the art infrastructure facilities at campus the institute also has a highly equipped avionics lab where we have various electrical electronics and radio navigation components available for practical training This course requires at least 1000 practical hours of training. Out of it 700 hours are clocked in the institute itself that is WIIA itself in both of its labs. student can major in either one of the two groups b1.1 is aeroplane turbine or b2 group is called the avionics group 
once they finish their sixth semester course, they can work as a junior or an associate tech with an actual aircraft maintenance engineer to get their final license from DGCA. That was all the information about the AME course, but there's still some information missing. Who is eligible to apply for an admission? Well, you need to have either of the following educational qualification to apply for this course. Either you need to have a 10 plus 2 education in physics, chemistry and mathematics, or you need to have a BE or a BTEC degree, or a 3 year 6 semester diploma in aeronautical, mechanical, electrical or electronics field. The student needs to be physically fit with no vision problems. How do you define vision problems? A mere requirement of spectacles is not considered a vision problem. Vision problem means either night blindness or color blindness. Now if you are wondering about the placement package for this course, I ask the same question to the director of WIIA. WIIA has always been in the forefront to develop and enhance the skills, knowledge and practical exposure of its students. The DGCA approved AME course at WIIA has also created an industry benchmark in terms of placing its students in the aviation industry. After obtaining AME license, the student is able to get a job with pay package ranging from 6 to 8.4 lakhs per annum. And since this is a license based course, the salary varies as per the license acquired by the students. A dedicated placement support is provided to the students and specifically the industry requirements are given top priority during the tenure of the AME course. Apart from this, WWI is the only AME institute in India to have easy monthly EMI facility for fees payment at 0% interest rate. In order to have better future career options, the students at WWI are also provided with BSc degree from Indus University along with our AME course. So this is the kind of support system that we have created for our students which actually helps them to achieve their goal of working in the aviation sector along with a holistic development approach. We are also very proud to say that WWI students always strive to become a better version of themselves. Thank you. Am I dreaming or what? A 0% interest on EMIs for fees in an educational institute? Well, that is a first. But WIIA is first in a lot of other things. Now you must be wondering what are the actual fees for different courses. The AME course will cost you this much. And the AME with BSc honours will cost you this much. The cost includes all the safety gears, all the uniforms and everything that you will require throughout the six semesters, that is three years of this course. Now that we are already here at WIIA, I want to talk about one more course that they offer. The course is a six month course called Aviation Hospitality and Travel Management. What are the career prospects after this course? Well, everyone you see working at an airport is required to have completed this course. If I were to name those prospects, you can either be a cabin crew, ramp officer, cargo handling staff, airport terminal executive, customer service personnel, guest service supervisor, front office assistant, guest relationship executive, travel desk executive, food and beverage executive, itinerary planner and reservation, fares and ticketing executive. To be eligible to take part in this course, you need to be between 17 to 26 years old and you need to have completed 10 plus 2 education from any recognized board. You need to have a pleasing personality. You need to have a basic fluency in English and in Hindi. The mode of admission is an aptitude test and an interview. For the placement package and the expected salary, I spoke to Radhika ma'am about it. Our aviation, hospitality and travel management course at WWI provides a hands-on industry-oriented practical exposure to the students and after AHTM course completion, the students get opportunity to work with domestic as well as international airlines. In domestic airlines, the student can expect a salary of 1.8 to 6 lakhs per annum and for the international airlines, the starting salary ranges from 4.8 to 18 lakhs per annum.
how much will aviation hospitality and travel management cost? Well, you can see the amount on your screen. We've spoken about three courses today. If you have any doubts about any of these courses, if you want any more information, you can call WIIA on the number that is in front of you on the screen or you can visit their website that you can see on the screen. Here's to all the invisible heroes that are the aircraft maintenance engineers and a final message from the director of WIIA. Thank you Gunj for being here and recognizing aircraft maintenance engineers that are the true invisible heroes and bringing recognition to the aviation industry that it requires.